Hey, what's up? It's the boys from Bit Season, and today's show is sponsored by SeatGeek. And if you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've all got the app on our phones. Use code BITSEASON for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Worried that your old, inefficient air conditioner might not make it through another summer? Call Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electric today to schedule your free in-home estimate on a new AC and save up to $1,200. Save up to $2,400 on furnace and AC combos and take advantage of 0% financing for 72 months with approved credit. Four Seasons will beat any competitor's estimate by up to $500, guaranteed. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASONS. She's got the Hollywood hookup. Plus, it's been 24-7. It's the Dirty on the 30 with Kennedy. With Kennedy. Yeah. yeah. I think we all know that here on the program, I am a Britney Spears stan. I love her. I, I want nothing but the best Unabashedly. for her. I, I, I at times wanted to bring her to my house so that she could get heal. out of that house and she could heal and find a way to, you know, whatever. And I love her. She does no wrong in my book. But she posted a video of herself and her assistant having some drinks this week and said, this is my first time at a bar. First time. I feel so fancy and so sophisticated. So glad they took my rights away for 13 years to have a cocktail. I'm grateful, y'all. I mean, I remember pictures of her and Paris Hilton at bars back in the day. But but, but, but you do you. But maybe like, you know, but this is the first time she sat down at a nice bar and had a martini or something. I think any bar, maybe. I think that could be real. Like, think about the last time we really saw her out. You know, it was but back she said in the, ever, though. Yeah, and oh, I just feel like yeah, that's no, not... No on the ever. Yeah, because, like, she used to go out with Paris and them to the club. Lindsay to Lohan the club, in that group. In the, the, the pre-Kardashian Kardashian. But again, I'm not here to judge. And if this is how you feel, Brittany, then you take it and I, live with it and live your best life. There might be a little abuse amnesia. That's real, guys. 100%. Where you just forget your life before. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And this was like the first time she could go on her own instead of feeling like she had to follow what along with other had? people. What do you think she had? Cosmo? I Espresso Martini? Picture. Which, yeah. I hope so. All Something fancy. Umbrellas. Mm-hmm. I'm very glad that she's now free to do whatever she needs. I just feel like sometimes she should say less on the Instagram space. Well, you know, they also, people tend to say, like, you stay the age you were when she was very really stunted. She was very yes. young. So I think she's maybe forever 17. And I think you're right, too. I think a lot of the stuff she posts were like, you're a grown ass woman, but she's not a grown ass so woman. So many emojis. Yeah. So, and I'm here for the emojis, but so many. It's hard emojis. to read sometimes. Yeah. All right. So we have talked this week about this thing between JoJo Siwa. Oh, my God. There's more. And, I know. And Candace Cameron Bure. <laughs> <laughs> Here for the gays. <laughs> so, jo- so Jojo did an interview, for those of you that aren't familiar with the story, she did an interview, uh, or she was on TikTok, and it was the, you know, the, the nicest celebrity, the celebrity crush, the rudest celebrity, something mm-hmm. else. And she said the rudest celebrity she ever met was Candace Cameron Bure, that she met her when she was 11 on a red carpet, asked to take a picture. Candace said, um, not right now, and then went and took pictures with a whole bunch of other people. So Candace reached out to JoJo, said, what did I do? Please give me the opportunity to apologize, and then did this very long diatribe on Instagram about her apology and that her and JoJo are fine I now. I felt like the, the, Cameron, the Candace Cameron apology was a little condescending. Well, it was a little self-serving, to oh, be certain. <laughs> Well, her daughter, Natasha, has decided to come to her defense. She says, respectfully, which means not. Which means kick rocks. Someone saying no to taking a photo with you is not a, quote, rough experience. Now, she wrote this story and then deleted it, which means, duh, you don't believe what she said. But she said that, uh, that JoJo should grow up, that there are bigger issues in the world than this. Guys. <laughs> It was a silly TikTok thing. I think it was a you know one of those things where you're just answering questions that you know it's just a thing. It's a TikTok yeah, thing. We don't go from like a, you know like the answer to a nice like pop question to like the Ukraine. Yeah. Like we know there are bigger <laughs> issues. Your mom's a problem. But Kennedy, you're you people meet you that come up. Say, oh my God, you're Kennedy. Yeah. Kennedy. Sure, sure. If you saw a tweet saying you were the rudest celebrity they've ever met, you would be upset by it. I certainly would, and I would reach out a lot like Candace did, and I would hope to 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 speak to whomever it was and have a conversation but I don't know that I would then get myself all made up in the back of my fancy car and then do like a two minute video saying you guys I handled it do you know what I mean I'd want it to be right. more between me and that person exactly. and if that person wanted to speak about it again that's fine but yeah. I don't but but I, I don't need the valid I don't need I wouldn't need the validation to be like 
she said I'm fine. I'm she also says assuming I'm good. if someone came up and said, "Hey, Ken, can we take a picture?" You would say yes or "Hey, no." And if I've no seen is Kennedy answer, stiff arm an eleven year old. Oh, stop! Uh, I'll if take a no picture answer, with anybody. It would be no for everyone that subsequently then came after. Yeah. <laughs> if no is no, it's not no to you and yes to all the people behind. Correct. You. Yeah, you should always try to take a picture with the children. But yeah. I do that need part JoJo I 100% to agree with. not be out in her pajama pants with the paparazzi. <laughs> Honey, your pajama pants aren't pajama pants. Can we make the gays look better? (laughs) (laughs) There's like 10 of us in the world. She's representing you all. No. No. (laughs) Well, we're getting there. All right, guys. And uh, it looks like Ben Affleck is not done playing Batman after all. Jason Momoa just revealed that he is in the Aquaman sequel, sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Apparently, they were trying to keep this a very, very big secret. But... Uh, They couldn't. They got outed by a bus full of tourists on the Warner Brothers lot. So Jason posted a couple of pictures of him with Ben along of the video of the moment they were found out. Ben uh, already suited up for The Flash, which is going to come out in 2023. Um, But Aquaman hits theaters three months earlier than that. Are you not a big fan of Ben Affleck as the Batman? No. No. Ben Affleck is the best Bruce Wayne. I stand by what I said. (gasps) What? Yep. I mean, Bruce... Michael Mm. Keaton is the best Batman and Ben Affleck is the best Bruce Wayne. All right, I love you, but I'm going to school you. Christian Bale (laughs) is the best of both. Period. (laughs) End of story. The Dark Knight series. That trilogy was the best Batman movies, period. Best ever. Not even close. Ever. Good enough. It's the only good things DC has done in (laughs) eons. Eons. Besides the first Wonder Woman movie. (laughs) Coming up at 7.30. No, not the second. (laughs) We ain't going to talk about the second. Carson and Kennedy on Mix 104.1. She's got the Hollywood hookup. Gossip in 24-7. It's the Dirty on the 30 with Kennedy. With Kennedy. Yeah. All right. So by now we all know that uh, Beyonce dropped Renaissance uh, at midnight. And here is a little clip of how it was teased. So uh, she explained that this album was one of a three-part project that she recorded during the p- pandemic, which inspired her creativity. She said, creating this album allowed me a place to dream and to find escape during a scary time for the world. It allowed me to feel free and adventurous in a time when little else was moving. My intention was to create a safe place, a place without judgment, a place free of perfectionism and overthinking. And she thanked literally everyone in her life for making it uh, making it happen with a special thanks to her fans saying, I hope you find joy in this music. I hope it inspires you to to release the wiggle. I'm going to go live in that place nonstop for like the next week. <laughs> and one of the songs is called Energy. And Khalees, who sang Milkshake, as you know, uh, believes that she used some of that in the song Energy. Now, uh, upon release of Renaissance, the full credits revealed that it was not a sample, but an interpret an, an Interpolation? Interpolation <laughs> of Milkshake? The feels of the song, not the so, song. <laughs> what does that mean, interpolation? So interpolation. they didn't use the same notes. In other words, they didn't use an actual sample from the song. They didn't take a piece of that music and then put it in her music. That sounds a lot like Vanilla Ice and Queen with Ice Ice Baby and Under Pressure. getting the hi-hats. So Khalees uh, made her remarks in the comment section of a post saying, my mind is blown because the level of disrespect and utter ignorance of all three parties involved is astounding. Mm. I heard about this the same way everybody else did. Nothing is as it seems. Some people in the business have no solar integrity and they have everyone fooled. It's not a collab. It's a theft. Now, Khalees didn't write, produce or compose anything on that song. So she's only listed on that song as the performer. So... Even if they did steal it, she has no, she has no horse in the race. Well, Beyonce's literally no dog on the horse in the fight. She would like to have in the race. So, um, the credited composers for the song "Energy" they credited Pharrell Williams and Chad, which is presumably Chad Hugo from Neptune's, who yep. wrote the song. Mm-hmm. So they did what they were supposed to do. Right. Khalees just wasn't one of the people that Homework was going to get done. It. Yeah, <laughs> all done. Here's receipts by E. Is the Beehive going to come after her now? I don't know what's going to happen, I just, but I, I don't think... know how Khalees doesn't know that the sound the sound she's hearing is really her digging her own grave. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the sampling. 
John Stewart, the comedian, is known for being funny, but also being passionate about helping people. And he is blasting Republicans for failing to pass a bill that helps veterans with health care. Republican senators yesterday blocked a bill that would expand health care for coverage for military veterans who were exposed to toxins and burn pits during their service. In the end, eight Republicans joined 50 Democrats to vote for the Sergeant First Class Health Robins- Heath Robinson honoring our PACT Act. And still it wasn't enough. They needed 60 votes. And here is John. Very angry. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Every one of these individuals that has been fighting for years, standing on the shoulders of Vietnam veterans, Persian Gulf War veterans, Desert Storm veterans, fighting for years to just get the health care and benefits that they earned from their service. They lived up to their oath. This is an embarrassment to the Senate, to the country, to the founders, and all that they profess to hold dear. And if this is America first, then America is f- Where is the lie? I love him Zero so much. lies. He said, this is due to your parliamentary effery. Yeah. I just, I, I, again, you know, we talked about this earlier in the day, using your powers for good, I think is just so important. And ori- the original bill, before they had to change some stuff for the language, pa- it was going to pass, and then like 25 Republicans That voted reneged. for it originally, yeah. reneged. Yeah. Which is crazy, because that's supposed to be the party that supports the troops, and here they are actively not supporting the I troops. I want to just say both parties support mm-hmm. the troops, but I, you know, I, this, I'm just tired of But that's of like their vision. tent pole, what they say. Exactly, yeah. I'm tired of this vision. If you're willing to send them in the war, you got to be willing to take care of them when they come home. you got it. Cradle Gross. to the grave. you got it. And American Idol is returning for 21st season, if you can believe it. And everybody's coming back. Katy Perry, Luke Bryant, Lionel Richie, and Ryan Seacrest uh, have all signed up to be a part of the 21st season. Auditions start Wednesday with the return of the live virtual audition tour, Idol Across America, taking place in all 50 states plus Washington, D.C. And um, off we go. I just I just didn't know people still watched it, but God bless you. I don't can drink now. It's 21. <laughs> <laughs> it should be a drinking show now. Oh, my Lord. I don't know when Ryan old. Seacrest sleeps. I don't know either, and his skin is so nice. I don't know when he has time to go to the dermatologist med spa that he clearly I think goes that to. they must come to him. I know that if I could, I would. Uh, it would be like in between breaks, somebody would be working on it. Honey, I'd be fully pulled, but like, <laughs> I just don't know when he has time to recover. He is a busy, busy human. Carson and Kennedy on Mix 1041. Hey, what's up? It's the boys from Bit Season, and today's show is sponsored by SeatGeek. And if you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've all got the app on our phones. Use code BITSEASON for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electric wants to guarantee you a breakdown-free summer. Did you know that a dirty air conditioner can increase utility bills and lead to untimely and costly breakdowns? Now's the time to schedule your Four Seasons AC tune-up, which includes a 22-point inspection, complete cleaning, and is backed by an industry-leading one-year no-breakdown guarantee. And get $50 off. Your worry-free summer is just a Four Seasons tune-up away. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASONS. You know those headlines that make you stop scrolling and actually read an article? I'm Mike Rogers. Those are the kinds of stories I'm diving into on my podcast, Something Offbeat. Like the caterpillar infestation in Maine that had us rethinking our relationship with insects. We were talking about a time 300 million years ago, if you can imagine. There was a dragonfly. It had a two-foot wingspan. Just search for Something Offbeat in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. A bad team facing a good team is never completely out of it. Nick Costos, co-host of You Better You Bet. 3 to 7 p.m. Eastern on the BetQL Network. There's 162 games in the season. The best teams are going to lose 60 plus times and the worst teams are going to win 60 plus times. Each night is its own individual entity. That's what makes betting on the baseball regular season so much fun. All the insight you need to bet smarter is at BetQL.com. And listen to You Better You Bet with Nick Costos and Ken Barkley streaming weekdays from 3 to 7 p.m. Eastern on Odyssey. When it comes to a tasty Big Mac or crispy chicken sandwich, let's just say the ones who get it, get it. The ones who don't, should probably download the McD app immediately. Right now, you can buy one delectable sandwich and get another free. Double up on the 100% pure beef patties or get twice the amount of crispy southern style fried chicken. So, get with the folks who get it and download the McD app today. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid through 821-22 at participating McDonald's. Valid one today. Valid per item of equal or lesser value. McD app download and registration required.